know, I'm pushing 60. So I, I got 50 years of drug use under my belt. Um, first time I ever got experimented with drugs was marijuana, and it was because my babysitter got me high. Okay? And my dad beat her boyfriend up, and when he found out, it was a bad scene. But pot was a big part of my life. Mushrooms and cocaine, LSD, and high school. And then after high school, I started selling drugs. And I mean, I was literally getting it off the boat in San Francisco Harbor. And that was when I had my incident. Tried to get out of that life and I moved to Phoenix. Got arrested, ended up back here in Denver. And uh, I was good for a couple of years and then one day fell off the wagon again. Ended up spending 20 years in prison over that. And then today I was driving my friend over here and she did a shot of heroin. Um, I was clean for 30 years. I fell off the wagon a year or two ago. But, um, I, and I've been like binging it, not everyday use. And, uh, which isn't any good either. But, she did that shot of heroin. And I'd seen her do shots before, but today, her arm swelled up, and I was like, what's wrong with your arm? And she's like, I am not going to finish this hit. This, I'm allergic to fentanyl, and this is fentanyl, and I'm allergic to it. And, she's, and she was nodding out, and she was really high, and I was like, what do I got to do? How do, how do I treat you? Is there any place I got to take you, you know? And... Uh, so I drove around talking to her, and reaching over, touching her neck to see if she still had a pulse because she kept falling out on me. Putting my finger under her nose and scared me. And then uh, when I got here, I found out about the NAR camp. And I said, I got to have some of that in my truck, you know. And uh, because I knew there was an opiate overdose drug, but I didn't know the name of it. And in the 70s and the 80s, they didn't have that, you know? They just didn't have, they had like adrenaline or something. And uh, so, and then, not only did I uh, get schooled on the Narcam and how to adjust it, and I'm on a steroid regimen from the doctors, so I, I'm used to injecting intramuscular drugs. So it was nice to have the Narcam in the truck where I could help her in this type of situation and I don't have to worry about her dying because I care about her. Mm -hmm.